Hi everyone, McBeard here, back with another Commander's Horn deck guide for you. Something fresh. We tried out Croc on Crate today. We went to the Team Eratusa meta snapshot, wanted to see what Skellige was looking like. They were looking like Tier 3, and Croc was lumped in with Bran, or sorry, Svalblood and Harold, uh, Tier 3. And they had it as a tall Croc. Uh, I liked a lot, of the a lot of the plan there, but I took a lot of stuff out. I made it a bit more mid-range. I wanted to include Arnvald specifically to wipe out a bounty. I feel like Ulfidin is pretty good. I got a lot of, like, really pushy round ones. A lot of tall units are Early on just to get good value from generally get seven or eight usually seems fine to put in and delirium because the portal opening with crocs reach allows you just to total pretty much both of the engines croc can finish it off or you can finish it off the next turn so uh unlike uh, using something at a bit higher uh higher on the spectrum like cleaver and things like that um but i am using a lot of those cards but this is uh, not too uh dissimilar from the kind of the murder croc that I'm known for running. I do like Merc to Braca. I don't think it's necessary. I think it's just a good card. Helps Bloodthirst uh, being uh, be active on the board. So it is pretty good. But in general though, the bronzes just do so much work for you in this list. And there's some there's some real superstars. Generally starting off with Drum and Shield Maiden on blue coin with the tactical advantage felt really, really safe. Allows you to easily follow up with a Svalblood Priest or a Svalblood Butcher just to get the other one out of the deck. So that's usually how I was starting off most of my blue coin games. On red coin, I would be maybe a little bit more aggressive. I would start off with something like Harold Houndsnout, which of course lets you, uh, opens up some control options. Uh, the Dimmon Longship as well. Uh, but it's a little bit different where you don't have the tactical advantage to save it because if it's against Nilfgaard, it's just going to get assassinated. So you got to be careful what you play. Usually uh, Small Blood Totem is pretty good proactive play to get things started. I'm usually okay. Harold Houndsnout is almost a must-have if you need to have that proactive play and still set up a problem for your opponent if they're just going to start, you know, jousting you and northern winding you and, uh, you know, whatever crime you have or whatever's going on. The thing about this deck is that it performed really well. I pretty much sailed through rank 5 against DJ, full test, Ardal, even a Usurper here, lots of Kalantha. We did okay. Uh, the first 10 games we played this, we went 7-2-1. Seven, uh, seven, and one. We tied the Usurper game. I might include it. It was a hell of a game. But if I don't, it's because the highlights were just so much better. So once you set up a Dimmon Longship, you can then place a Heimei Protector, or perhaps you already have a Small Blood Priest available for that as well. Or maybe one of your units just has Bleeding. It's not uncommon in this meta. There's lots of Witch Hunter Executioner, Nathaniel Pistodi. Lots of things drop in Bleeds, Hubert Rex. So having Heimei Protector on hand is just like just placing an engine on the board unconditionally. So that's not bad. Heimei Herbalist is really good because there are going to be some times where you're going to have a damaged Longship. You know, it doesn't need to be that damage. It is only a three heal, but it's pretty good when you can get the eight points out of this card. I think it's uh, it's pretty great. Uh, it's really strong with the longship specifically. And of course, the Demon Warship with that extra ping from Croc that you should have on hand, three becomes four. Very great to knock out an engine at the five provision slot these days. And then it comes to my favorite part, the push. These cards that you do so well with your bronze cards just open up to having a ton of great cards. And this is not new for Skellige. You have Muzzle to deal with an engine. Geralt Professional with Croc allows you a lot of control. This might be something that this may end up being something different. I felt that it was worth it to actually have something that could just take out something at six. There's a lot of Asiras, Lethos. There might be the odd Reynard or Prophet Leviota that you need to kill. And sometimes things go to nine. You can control things at 10 to nine with Croc. But a lot of time I was playing this just as a removal piece, another ping for three which was fine because with Croc, that does still help me kill an engine at four. And you've run, you know, it is a high price to pay, but you do have that extra flexibility and he's not really that dead. Playing a card for six in a late round, you know, it's not the end of the world. Cyprian Wiley was an all-star, lots of roaches to banish. We saw so many Ardals, a little bit of Usurper as well. Banish that roach, use Croc's ping and banish the Flying Redanian. You can even banish an extra Blue Stripe Commando if you're worried about it later. Cyprian Wiley is actually really, really good in this meta, but especially with Croc. Vabjorn almost always was a 9 or a 10 point card just because there's a lot more higher strength units out there. So you feel it just feels like you're getting a lot more value with Vabjorn. And with Croc, outside of just getting overly boosted, Northern Realms does have a lot of boosting, so it was hard sometimes. But you just take the, uh, much like Ulfidin, you just take the really high value. If you can get 10 points and you don't see yourself needing to kill something like Damien or something at 6 that you can just ping and kill and get a crazy swing with Vabjorn, just go ahead and try to get the 9 or the 10 if you can. And, Her and Donar and Hindar, Stuff like Mercadabraca and Croc just helps set out so you can have that nine point play. Sometimes knock out an engine. Sometimes uh, you set up the Bloodthirst, you lock with Jenga Fret, and then you come down in with Donar and he takes care of the rest after Croc pings. There's a lot of stuff you can do in the mid range. Usually, though, you're drawing into a lot of great cards and you're getting a lot of work done with your bronze cards. I had 
a great time. We won a lot of games, and I'm really happy with these highlights. They're all against meta decks. Enjoy the enjoy the video, my friends. Enjoy the gameplay. Hope you have fun with this deck. It might be better than Tier 3 if it can perform this well against Ardal, DJ, and Full Test, or its representation of my rank, and I just had a great run. You tell me in the comments. Let me know if you like the video. Show me, tell me. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, guys. It was a good one, and here we go. Nilfgaard again. You've got the heart. I just, I think, I got, I got a fly. We got flies, man. There is a fly. There's like these flies on our deck. And they all got in when I came in from uh, walking the dog today. Now they love me. Um, pretty good starting hand if we were pushing. I do like we have Herbalist Ship. Two Butchers we probably don't need. Two Priests, I don't know either. And we're not going to redraw here. We're going to get Roach again for a Sierra, and that's going to feel good. That was a huge part of last game, too. That was a huge part of it. Being on blue coin was also part of it, I think. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll leave off with ship this time, I think. Because we have we don't have the protector in hand this time, so I don't know if it's worth it to do that. I just don't want the ship to get assassinated, but tactical does prevent that from occurring. But I want to boost it later. I don't know. I actually do think that this is how I want to approach it. I think this is how I want to do it. I got to remember I have Croc in this game. The first game I actually can play my leader. Same opening. Same opening, but we can actually kill it with... Um, well, we don't have uh, the ship. But. Expected. Yep. Who's the courage to fight the belt, Carlos, eh? I like this combo a lot more because I'm not putting engines. Like, it's just, it's anti-assassination, it's anti-joust. Like, well, they're not going to use these. This is stuff that they can't really, they couldn't joust it anyway. So he gets enough charges to kill it with Tourney Joust, actually. No, this is, he's just gonna kill this. Oh, he's our dolly. So he's, so we can assume this guy plays Damien? That's really early. That's just red coin bullying right there. Pretty strong turn, I gotta say. Pretty strong. <laughs> Slow, ain't ya? Pretty strong turn right there. Yeah, we bleed hyper thin every time. Yeah, he wants it all right, but he's playing. I mean, we have enough. We can fight for it. We have a great hand. That I just can't kill this right. I think I still go and I just don art anyway. Calm yourselves. <laughs> Is he gonna let this thing die? Nope. Oh wow, I can heal it. I can play my heal on it, I guess. He didn't even use the charge on it, the poor fool. He's gonna punch that fire scorpion to death. He, oh god, it's the Skellige Ambassador. FD Helga. What? Yep. The Great Mother's graces find us. Just this thing, I guess. <laughs> 
Alright. Diplomacy. Well, he's gonna have a lot of he gets a lot of charges from the tactic here. Please see a bunch of crap you can't use. Please. Please. Oh wow. Ah, oh, it's pretty strong. Six point diplomacy. Plus all the charges here. Okay, I mean, our final plays are just going to be as strong as they are. Finally, finally, this guy sees play, right? He's good for special cards, he's good for t -bore, he's good for, like, everything, right? Please don't be... This could be... It's just he gets three points. He gets plus three points on it. I hate it. It's a good pick. I just showed him how good it was. Got too many points, y'all. I can't do it. Tapped him out. I'm worried about Damien, but Vabjorn helps us there, I guess. Coward! Coward! That's bad for us, dudes. That's bad for us. Yeah, not Alphadin's best matchup either, huh? Might have to make some changes for Nilfgaard. I feel like Arnvald and Alphadin, it just, you know, I, I got them for huge tacticals and portals and stuff, but this isn't the worst hand in the world, though. Jerry the Pro. These all work together at least. <laughs> well, it's gonna work or it's not gonna work, but I don't think it's gonna work. He's got a deal, like, I do create two problems for him at the same time here, which I do like. So he always kills Harold, and then, you know, then I can do stuff. Yeah, this is going to be incredibly hard to win. I should have put it between the other two skulls. Uh, my bad. I don't know if it was a mistake. The biggest alpha in target is like Letho. I don't know. What is truth if not an illusion? Fill our hearts with wrath. Slave infantry, I guess. Jerry the Pro kills Damien, but he has last still he has last double say, I guess. That's a bad start for him, isn't it? Well, I just go and try to kill the engine here, I think. How silly of me to think that I would hit the engine. <laughs> How silly of me to think I would have hit the engine there. Well, he bricked. I mean, we might get him on like card quality, but I don't know. We're gonna be able to drop a bleed on whatever this is. Oh yeah, because why was this in my graveyard? Wait, what? I didn't send up in my graveyard. You beg for death. Well, he's gonna be ha he's gonna be moving from an empty board. So, oh, I muzzled it, right? Yeah, I muzzled it. Unless he just happens to play. Ah, we vaporized Roach, and we get a six to play with Geralt. How sweet it is! How sweet it is! I should have played this next here, I think, right? 
I lose by a point, that's why I didn't play this next to the butcher before. There'll be right. nothing to pick up when I'm Oh, done that's you. not what you You hate to see it. You hate to see it. An interesting uh -oh. choice. You hate to see it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I made I made two misplays in that round. A card down, I double last say, and I still won it. <laughs> I still won that game. Only one Dijkstra. So our opponents today, if you've been paying attention, have been Usurper, Ardal, Ardal, Dijkstra. So not too different from every other day we start with. But we're playing Skellige and we're not losing. So now you can see your Swole Meave if you want to see your Swole Meave. As you can see, swole meave. Look at that hairy armpit. Look at that hairy armpit. Full test, I heard. All right, so this is definitely going through the meta ringer. This is the meta ringer. All right. So the removal is good. Harold Houndsnet would be awesome with these butchers. We probably just don't need both butchers. Muzzle is good. We're looking for, we don't have a ship for the herbalists. I don't know. I don't think the Herbalist is going to be better than, like, uh, the, the Drum and Shield Maiden. Double Priest. No Thinning. No Jerry the Pro. Unfortunately. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, is it Totem first? Red Coin, huh? Totem first, I think, because you can't ping anything. Totem's the play here, I think. Boosting uh, boosting the three-point unit like Arbalest is the play if you think you're playing against Jerry the Pro, though, because having G Geralt there wouldn't have made a difference. Um, holding Croc could have been okay as well because I could have pinged the next unit he plays, so I could end up just lock the Arbalest, but um, that's fine. This also doesn't really help him that much. So now I can go lock kill. I can lock the Arbalest and kill the Trebuchet next turn. And he still can't really like do like tons of stuff with his charges. The transition? Yeah, I like it. I'm using that stinger. I, it was mostly uh oh look at this play. Okay, that's a play. There's no reason for me not to use this, right? Oh, well, I have a protector, so there is a reason. So, also, he could play another trap, so there's another good reason. Battering Ram, huh? Very interesting. Well, this is what Battering Ram hits, so if I put the Haymaker Protector next to it, it'll get buffed. Either red my shield or on it. If we're just trying to get value here. You loved his comment, pro player playing an also broken deck. Who said that? Oh, Adzikov? Spell a towel? Well, I mean, I mean, for me, I'm not, I'm not. Comp my problem with DJ is not really the power level. My my problem is the frequency that I see it, and my problem is it is a combo that like my, like I, my problem with DJ is oh, I only have a problem with the like the third best DJ deck. The other two d good DJ decks are not as much of an issue for me. I just think that the Townsfolk combo is just so clearly like not very good for the game. Not good. This is not what I expected to play. We're not seeing, um, was that the, uh, that was just Revenant from hand? They have our loins. I still think this is good. Even if it makes it easier for him to proc the Revenant, I still think I'm better setting up an engine here. Maybe he has that forbidden magic. Maybe he kind of like thought I was going to do this. Problem with the combo is Igor. I mean, yeah, Igor's ability without a cooldown is pretty nutty. I, just considering the history that Gwen has with duplicating units, it seems like they just kind of like let let Igor, Igor go without a leash at all. Um, but maybe they just really wanted to experiment how busted duplicating units could be. Well, much like anything that can be mul multiplicative, it can get pretty crazy. You know, we've all played Tony Hawk 2. We've all had scores of 
three million or whatever. Painful. We could just get a ping on Falibor, so uh, so Vabjorn's an eleven point play. So I think we go butcher, butcher to kill Jenga. Actually, so he doesn't have a better could when he play. Or we could just trigger this. I think that's probably just better to trigger this. <laughs> also, I did have the ping with Croc. So maybe I should have done that too. Whoops. Maybe that was stupid of me to even like not think about using that. Fabian really gets us back into this, though, doesn't he? Nasty. All right, that's, that's a value Vincent, if I've ever seen one. 20 points behind. All right, so 20 points. But we have 11 and 10, don't we? Because of Croc. So we can do it in two cards, and we will do it in two cards. I'll got you like fishes. Oh wait, we have we were better than that because of this. <laughs> Alpha then would be enough then. Muzzle is also very hard very hard for him to, to disregard, I think. And he's not playing any blue stripe scout shenanigans either, so you wish to play. Whoa. So let us play. What a play. Stops the engine as well. God, that's tough, right? We can't do it. 24 points? Can't be done. He spent. He spent. He bought it. He bought the round. He paid a high price for it. He got great value from Vincent. That was a huge Vincent. Good value from the Revenant as well. We have a great hand. So what do we play if he passes on us? Juice. I get no mind me, I have to taunt him. I have to taunt him for the contract. Contract. And it's fantastic. We even got Ulfidon back. Look at this hand. We have a priest for Harold. We just set up Harold. We just control from here. Uh, the hand looks so strong. We don't have like a big point drop, but Muscle's gonna end up being that, I think. Great blood runs thick. 271 out of a thousand. Good lord. Help me. Skull here. Skull here, and we don't pop anything. Then we don't get, um. No, we pop something with, uh, we kill. Well, he he's baiting. He's baiting Croc, I think. I feel baited here by this play here. I don't think I want to play Croc on Crate as long as I have. Muzzle in hand. No, I think I, I think it's irresponsible. Mm. Fill our hearts with rock. Something I don't like. Something about this I don't like. Something about this I don't like. Maybe he just muzzles the priest or something. Has he played muzzle? He played Falibor Prince. And Gaunter, those were the big, big plays he made, and those were not, those aren't small. It's like 10, 11, 12, right? Uh, yeah, so we just go for max value on Skjall. Oh no, we don't want to do that. We want, um, well, we want to use Cyprian as soon as we can. We could probably do that with Croc on Crate. Think we're gonna go up against Ake? Yeah, it's possible. That's why we gotta be careful. Oh, so he is running these. Ah. 
not the bloodthirst I was hoping for, but I was also hoping I'd get to kill one, so that's not bad. So do I muzzle Vess here? I feel like I want to muzzle Blue Stripes. I think I muzzle Vess here. I think maybe I wanted to muzzle this, but... Let's banish the human here. Great muzzle, no more leader charges. It's true, there are no more leader charges. These dogs have no honor. So, the unfortunate thing is, we actually can't. I mean, Alphadin's amazing here. He's kind of dumb if he only has two points. Like, he can heal him, I guess. But um, we can't play Donar. But I think having Donar as a finisher is probably the best thing. We have a lot of points. I don't know if it's going to be enough, but I think if we get Donar, if, if we get Donar right into Roach here, punch him right in the face, we have a chance just to beat him on points. Because what does he have? Drog and like nothing to hit really. He has this, I guess, but he, it's the only thing that Selkirk can actually hit without dying. So he probably doesn't use Selkirk then. So and I'm ahead by him. I'm doubling him up. I, this looks good, guys. I don't know. I would hate to lose this. <laughs> I think mm. everything that. Yeah. Now he duels that, yeah, and he wants this to be at one. So I get to kill this human and this human, so he only has these two humans to do anything with. And he has no Vernon, like what is he going to do? Calm yourselves. I thought I had the row wrong for a second, I had a heart attack. I don't know, I think we got him, I think we just have him controlled here. I think we just controlled the whole way down and just did a good job, and Margarita's all he has. Kill the mage instead? True. Wait. Uh, yeah, I guess it is a point. Yeah, true. Well, we're, we're either playing well or the deck has legs. That was a weird, that was a weird full test situation though. I mean, he fought super hard, right? He fought super hard and that was just it. Red coin just really helped us there. Yeah, I have enough to make him play one more card. Might as well do it now. All right, we got one. Oh, ho, 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 ho. people usually don't just give games away to me, so I'm pretty sure he was beaten. I'm pretty sure he was smart enough to know he was beaten, or reckless enough. Dijkstra. Lots of prior experience. Pretty sure we're seeing those top four most played leaders right now. Full test user for Ardell Dijkstra, because that's all we're seeing. Only one, only one user for though. It's a good hand. Red coin. Jerry the Pro, just being, I would love to have Jer uh, Jerry the Pro in the hand for like one round. But I could mulligan into this, so I'm not going to do that. But just for round one, it would just be so good just to play against like the quick portal. Swindling, huh? Uh huh. <laughs> DJ's voice lines? Yeah, I don't know why, why they're not work. Why I don't know why they aren't working anymore. Magic shows chaos. Evil's not going anywhere. Pretty aggressive. Floor SY card. 
Jerry the Pro. But yeah, he's playing at the tournament. Not usually running shakedown, so. Man, Arnbot would be so dope here. Well, we get to banish this, that's nice. Just kept shouting, "Glory to Lord Bushwick, our lives for Lord Bushwick." Thanks so much, Bushy, for the 140 person host. Not too bad. We're up against some Dijkstra. Only the second time today. It's been art all madness. Couple of full tests. This guy's playing all of his, all of his bounty, all of his bounty straight up right away. No waiting around here. So we get full Donar value here. I mean, we certainly want to kill Caleb, so because we're doing the red coin push. Blood for Svalblad. Svalblad is very bloody. He also less stabby for the priest, less stabby for the stabby boy. Hope you're all well. Hope you had a great stream, Lord Bushwick. We're just streaking with Croc right now. We have only lost one game to Ardal, and that was bad, dr badly drawn game. Ask anyone. Um, do I want to kill? I just want Bloodthirst on the board for Donar's follow up. Yes. <laughs> Well, do I want to make this easier for him to kill it? I don't really get so much of a benefit from it, so I'm just going to leave him five. More work for him. When they go all in with Bounty, it's the sickening stench of Igor. Hey, that's okay. Leave that out of him, too. He just gave us the round. Even cards. No, no excuse to not just go all in. Just bully. There's Jerry the Pro. There's Arnvald for whatever bounties remain. He played all of his bounties. I don't even know if I should keep this, but we'll see. We'll see. He still has a Witch Hunter Executioner. I think he still has a Witch Hunter, so we'll keep Arnvald. Yep. And I'm pretty sure we just push, but I don't know how. We just play the Priest. Fill our hearts with we have to push. Muzzle, Swablo Totem, those are cards I want to see. Delirium. But I mean, we just want to get cards out of them. We're uneven. There's just, there's no excuse, right? There's no excuse. Botch toast already? It's already ended? Light up the north. What? What are you talking about? Oh, because of the, because of the ad. Yeah, because of the ad you guys have to watch because Twitch is not nice. All right, so that's the last one, right? So he played Witch Hunter, he played Slander, he played the other Witch Hunter, and he played Caleb. So he only has the other Slander left? Whatever, right? The Yellowfish, have a great day. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out for the last two and a half hours. Good time. Look at this today. Wait. A damaged enemy unit. Oh, no! Why did I never notice it said that? Well, I don't think there was a better play than that. It wasn't really a debate, but there wasn't a better play than that. I still had to play him there. I can't play Donar, Ulfidin, or Geralt, so whatever. But I thought I was going to be able to clear the bounty with that play. I wonder, would I have played at all? Did I have played at all? I think we have to play Gerald here. Not here, 
I mean, we could hold it for. I just we need to basically make it so he cannot play anymore. He can't play Tales, tales. Yeah, big boost. Spend all your coins. Spend as many coins as you can, please. Lots of coins. Lots of coins. More coins. More coins. Yeah, more coins. Just shovel all the coins into the witch hunter. Yes. Yes. More. More. That's it. Ewald. Oh, nice. Mm. Well, we won't be able to take it. So this is good for him. Because he gets to keep whatever is in his hand here. Uh, if only I had... If I would have saved Croc maybe until this round... I could have done this, right? I could have hit this and then smacked it for nine. So maybe I made a misplay here. But getting all of his carryover is great. Getting Ewald is great. Obviously getting what I believe could be all of the bounties is great. Even if he has Igor, it's not as scary. Well, we have, there's there's the townsfolk solution. There's another solution because we're gonna get Bloodthirst on the board. Herbalist, Skjall, I mean, the hand's great, right? Like if he has Portal, Delirium kills a lackey. And then he has nothing to hit my crime with, and I can kill. I can just follow up with a lock or something. See me smiling. I'm dead serious. Got his Redanian, so that's pretty good too. I think we just play Skull here. I see. It's perfect, right? We go at it together. Okay, so one for one. I'm pretty happy. I think I definitely traded up with that. Opponent is deciding. Why the nose? Or out. Donar without the Bloodthirst, just to put a damaged unit on the board, I think, is what we want to do. Calm yourselves. Uh, I do get an extra ping out of Croc if I use this now, and I think I'm probably more likely going to need it. Did he play his Townsfolk and I lock it? Oh, he's just got Slander. He used Philip at two, right? He used Philip at two? Okay. Boy, that's a lot of coins just to leave on the table, my friend. How about you just give them to me? Yeah, out of 29, things are great. No one has a chance against me right now. I'm just obliterating. I'm obliterating everybody with this deck right now. <laughs> Suck at the extra. All right, we in here. Let's do this. Let's keep moving. Keep moving forward. I mean, these have been, like, I've, I've got highlights, but, God, you can always get more. As I said in the last video, you can always have more. Ah, another Deekstra. My lads will make sure of Mikkel, it's going pretty well. Thanks for asking. Yeah, and thanks for asking as well. New Jersey 3, what's going on? Lenny C, how you doing? Yeah, I know it's going pretty well. This game, this this has been pretty good against Deekstra this this last year. No boat means I don't want to I don't want to keep this. We have red coin, which is pretty awesome. These two cards are pretty good together. No priest for the protector. Maybe we drop that. Okay. Oh. No Geralt the pro on red coin. Dip in the Pontar. Just, just. Playing Dip in the Pontar like Gudrun's ability. Like playing it like Gudrun's leader ability. Just useless. Just give me nine coins, right? Well, that's a bad sign when I see stuff like that. Looks like the garbs. I still play this, though. I think I still have to play this. Give them no rest! No reprieve! Well, Arnvald's looking okay, I guess. Let's just boost it. Mods and Freya will protect us. Just <clears throat> Make it harder for him to kill him.
My time the north was cleansed. I actually think Arnvald gain he gains uh, value later because he's used three of his slanders, three of his five plus slanders. Although this is probably one of the best Arnvalds we're ever going to get, but it's not a damaged unit. Let's not make that mistake again. Mm. I don't know what the play is here. Let's go at them together. I don't know. I don't know about this. The jump's a jump. They should just save some card space and just say kill all bounty bounty units, fill purse. So what do you do when all that stuff doesn't get you ahead? You do not deserve to live! Let's fill up them, yeah? That's pretty common. Well, I think I'm gonna have to try to high roll Delirium here, right? Uh -huh. He still has to use his carryover. Maybe that's fine if he does. Let's see him fight. Let's see him like just go for it. I mean, it's six out of eight, right? I play Merc to Bracker first. I hit this here. One, two. Kill him for sure. Yeah, I'll kill him or I won't hit him at all. Whoa. Well, I get crazy Vabjorn value now, but he gets to keep e Wallet in that case. But then I could still probably... Hmm, that was pretty good. That was really good. I think I have to go for the value if I want to have a chance here. <laughs> Reasons for the feeble of heart! That's a good girl third and... As a girl, I always dreamed of having traits like this. I mean, we definitely want control of the round, so we still play. We still play uh, our card here to get within a point, and then just play Arnvald to take it. Got him. Push him to the limit. We are past the point of no return. Not terrible. Not terrible. The eternal fire. Without Croc, I can't play. I shouldn't have played Croc. I don't oh, think I the best cards. Well, yeah, we just push him. Well, hold on. We just. So he has to play a townsfolk, right? I don't know. Maybe he can just play Well, that's not a bad thing to get out of him, I guess. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to win this game. Unfortunately, I think we will lose this game now. No townsfolk. We played Ulfidin, yeah? Did we? No, we didn't. We have Ulfidin. Totem, muzzle. Would be great. Totem or muzzle. No Cyprian, so we're going to get Udanian. 
This looks very, this looks impossible. I think we're done. Actually, we're actually gonna lose a game to Dijkstra. It's actually gonna happen. I mean, it seems weird. Dijkstra seems like one of the worst leaders, judging on today's run. Uh, I mean, I still don't even know if we lose. But we probably lose because he's playing. He's playing a deck that is clearly horse chat. Well, the more he puts into it, the better, but he can't. He can't even do it. Um, but we can... Wait, hold on. We can still kill it? Oh, did we win? Did we win because he only has Igor left? Sit down. Sit down, Dijkstra! See? They just can't handle being blood. Adzikov is right. DJ sucks. DJ sucks. Grab a seat. Close the door. Have a seat. You're fired. 